I realized that through education, you know, I have the destiny to create my own, you know, I have the power to create my own destiny to what I want it to be. I'm going to be a correspondent for myhero.com, and it's, it's great because growing up as a child, I never had a hero. You know, it's good to have heroes because you admire those people, so that's why I'm happy to be a correspondent for my hero. Okay, would you mind telling us who your hero is, please? My hero are, would be uh, everyday parents who are there for their children. Sure, my hero is my mom. Well, my hero is probably my little sister. My hero is Muhammad City Bay because he's been through a lot and you just don't even know. Like, he's a great guy and he just doesn't let you know what he's been through and he just lives every day like it's a new one. And I was a former child soldier back in my home country, Sierra Leone. I was very young when I was forced to uh, fight in the army. One Saturday, so I was in school when they attacked. I to witness what they did because I was forced to go with them. I was a combatant. I was a child soldier. In 2001, a year before the war ended, with the help of an Italian priest, I escaped to Freetown. My life soon began to change for the better. My education will lead me to forget about the years of war and give me a better life. I joined an education program called IAN, a worldwide community of youth who use the internet to talk and learn from each other. I was very young and I was forced to uh, find in the army. The things that happened in my past is kind of motivated me to work you know, towards the greater, the greater good. I know a kid has to go through what I went through, so that's what I'm working towards right now. <laughs> My hero is Mohammed Sidi Bey. My hero is Mohammed Sidi Bey. He's been a great friend of mine. He's just a great guy all around after all he's been through and he's still smiling and having a good time. When I first met him, I, I have to admit, I mean, I was a little tough on him just because he was a, uh, uh, he was just a random kid to me. I didn't really know much of his background. and it seemed like a normal kid. After he told me what happened, I mean, I was obviously really moved. I wrote my college essay about him. It's been really a, a humbling experience to know about his past, and it puts into perspective how lucky I am to be at such a great school and to be in America and be so f very fortunate. I love him. He's part of my family, I feel like. He, it just goes to show how really strong he is, and... Um, He's definitely going to go very far in life, I know that for sure. That's a good, That's a good reason buddy. enough for them to be a hero, because heroes are people that, you know, you admire the people who inspire to you to this. do great things. Yeah. So. Okay. For she Peters is a great musician, and he sends a great message through music. He's a great friend as well as a great mentor. So he was the only first guy that actually reached to me. You know, he was able to get to me to let my, me tell my story to the world through the idea of media and technology. So I still use computers to correspond with people back in IAM in Freetown, Sierra Leone. It's, you know, it's a great organization. It was through IAM that I was able to tell my story to the world. And up to now, they're using the same media and technology to tell the story of kids who suffered through the years of war. Yeah, I like helping people because if I, can, if I remember when I have grown up, I will say, oh, I have to help people because when I was young, people also like to help me when things was very rough with me. My goal is to study hard, make my grades, move, move faster in education, and become an international lawyer to defend children rights so that what happened to me will never happen to other children. My plan is to go to a college, uh, college right after high school. Um, major in international relation. Hope for grad school, go to law school, study international law. Hopefully work for the UN or work for the International Court at The Hague in the Netherlands. Uh, that's my hope in the future. Everyone wants to change the world, but it's not working. Because what people are trying to do is they're trying to change the mass. And you can never change the mass, but what people can do is change one individual at a time, change themselves, and by changing themselves, they can change the world.